It looks like the IRS is up to their old tricks again. This scandal-plagued agency now accused of targeting some of Hollywood's biggest conservatives, members of a group called Friends of Abe. Could it be a plan to silence some of the president's biggest critics? We are joined right now by Fox News legal analyst Peter Johnson Jr. Peter, it sounds like what Morning. we discovered was happening out uh, out in the Midwest a couple of months ago. IRS uh, number two, big big surprise. Kelsey Grammer, John Voigt, Gary Sinise, an organization called Friends of Abe, about fifteen hundred Hollywood conservatives who have gotten together now and say. We want to start a, char a charity. Right. We want to start a 501c3, and we need the federal government's permission through the IRS. And so the IRS is saying now, no, we need your list of members. We need uh, access to your uh, 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 password-protected website. And these needs are never asked of any other organization of in the United States that wants to form a 501c3. They say they want to engage in good fellowship, not partisan political activity, and it's being held up right now. It looks like they're following all the rules to try to set this group up, so why would they crack down on them? Well, I think there's an, an effort in this country to demonize conservatives, and I think when you see uh, the president give um, uh, an interview to The New Yorker where he talks about Fox News and Rush Limbaugh. And he does it every time as his, his popularity plunges. His popularity is at an all-time low. Obamacare is at an all-time low. So you engage in scapegoating. You engage in demonizing. You engage in uh, vilification of the other side, people that are making statements that you might not hear in other media outlets. And so the question that I ask have we got a new blacklist era? Is this a new era in which uh, conservatives and middle-of-the-road people have to be afraid for their livelihood? Surely. The IRS saying, okay, we'll look at your group. We know you want to do good things, or at least you say you do, but we know you've also met with conservative politicians in the past, you know, like John Boehner right. and John McCain, and, and, and you've stood up at rallies with Mitt Romney and John McCain and Sarah Palin. So what are your real motives? Is it charity or is it attacking the White House? And so the IRS is going to look hard at that. And conservatives and liberals of good conscience who respect the Constitution will sure. look at it too. Is this a new era of McCarthyism? Has conservatism become the new communism of the 50s. Will those people sure. be blacklisted and will they not be able to engage in the charitable activities that they want to engage in because of a government's sure. partisan leanings and their desire to shut them down? I hope that's not true, but we're going to see what the IRS does going forward. Well, yeah, all great points. I mean, we've had conservatives on the show who have said to us, uh, not on television, but they go, you know, when I came out and I started uh, talking about this candidate, yeah. uh, Hollywood turned their back on Gary me. Gary Sinise is one of the most charitable men, not only in Hollywood, but in the country, in this city and throughout this country, for our wounded warriors, for our firefighters. He's a patriot and an American. If he wants to give money through an organization, sure. the IRS shouldn't stop him. Right. You know, if they're going to crack down on one side, they sh certainly should crack down on the other. It seems like another double standard. Peter Johnson, thank you very much. Have a great weekend. You too. Have a good weekend, everybody. All right. What do you think about that? Email us, friendsfoxnews.com. Meanwhile, coming up 20 minutes after the hour.